Cypriot of America revived the centuries-old history and tradition of winemaking in Cyprus during a successful event hosted at the Cyprus House in Manhattan on June 1st. Under the title The Roots of the Cyprus Wine, the event explored and highlighted the rich viticulture of Cyprus through a screening of an original mini-documentary and special remarks by guest speaker Susan Kostreva, executive editor of Wine Enthusiast magazine, an acclaimed publication that provides ratings and reviews for wines from around the world. The event was greeted by a host and president of Cyprego, the Cyprus Trade uh, Commissioner in New York, Aristos Constantine, and the Consul General of Cyprus, Ambassador Vasilis Filippou. The short film, which truly captivated all in attendance, revived the centuries-old history and tradition of winemaking in Cyprus with special emphasis to the Cypriot winemaker and to his ties to earth, vine and wine. Furthermore, it showcased all of the main areas on the island, such as Paphos, Limassol, Trodos, among others, involved in cultivating vines and producing wine. Enhanced with unique footage, the film also highlighted and explained the traditional methods, process and secrets of planting the various varieties of vines, including the indigenous varieties Xinisteri and Vanvacada, the harvesting uh, of the grapes, and finally, the process of producing the different Cypriot wines, including the renowned and award-winning Comandaria wine, an amber-colored sweet dessert wine made on the foothills of the Trodos Mountains. The film also emphasized the unique character of the Cyprus wine, the cultivation and production of which has been on past from generation to generation of the centuries and which is very closely connected to the religion and culture of the people of Cyprus. Guest speaker Susan Kostreva shared her expert opinion on the quality and uniqueness of the Cypriot wines, noting that her visit to Cyprus, which was organized by the Cyprus Trade Center in New York, helped her appreciate the depth and diversity of the island's cultivation and production of exquisite wines, noting that the indigenous varieties Xinisteri and Maratheftico, also known as Vavacada, produce exceptional wines. Foreigners need to further discover that Cyprus is not only a touristic destination, but also an important place that produces fine wine, she also stressed. Susan, a uh, wonderful presentation uh, this afternoon, and I thank you for, um, for coming and for uh, collaborating with Cyprego this evening. Um, I just wanted you to tell me a little bit uh, about the film, how much you enjoyed it, and then I wanted to ask you some more questions about your expertise in uh, Cypriot wine. Okay. Well, I love the film because I think one of the things that's so unique about Cyprus is the history. Uh, you're talking millennia of winemaking tradition, which is very unique in the world. And I also made the point in my presentation about the old vines, and I think that's something that, again, you don't see in most parts of the world. So the film really stressed that history and all of those years of tradition and knowledge that we now can see in the modern winemaking on Cyprus. Now, uh, as uh, someone who understands wine and you have uh, studied the uh, Cypriot wine, uh, what can you tell the uh, uh, American audience about the uniqueness of the Cypriot wine? Well, I think one of the things that's really amazing about uh, the wines of Cyprus is the, the balance, um, the, the acidity in the wines, the, the high altitude uh, elegance of the wines. They're food friendly, they're easy to love, they're easy to drink, there's something you can have every day uh, or for special occasions and th that versatility is, is, is part of what makes them so delicious. And of course the uh, Cyprus Comandaria, which is a dessert wine, I, I was explaining to people today, they said it's so sweet, I said yeah, but it's, it's a dessert wine, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think Comandaria is one of those really special wines, you, you just have a few tastes, it's something that it's so rich, it's so delicious, it's not something that you need to have a lot of, you can have a few tastes, it's great with food, um, and there's that amazing history, again, one of the most unique stories in the world, there are very few wines that have that long tradition and it's something that I think Cyprus should be really proud of. 
Well, thank you so much, and again, thank you uh, for working with us. You're, you bet. I really love the wines. Thank you. In his remarks, the Trade Commissioner of Cyprus to New York, Aristos Konstantin, elaborated on the developments in the modern wine industry of Cyprus, which continues to produce outstanding wines, and urged the audience to share in the rich wine culture of the island by trying the Cyprus wines available here in the USA. Mr. Trade Commissioner, uh, thank you so much uh, for hosting uh, uh, Cypregos event at the uh, Cyprus House. Uh, your impressions? Uh, look, Elena, uh, thank you for uh, helping us put this event together. It was it was a fantastic initiative, and um, you know Susan from Wine Enthusiast was was fantastic, and I think she did us all proud. She, we should make her an honorary Cypriot. Um, the documentary we showed, giving the history of Cyprus, I think was well received. It was educational. You know they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, um, Look, Cyprus wine is uh, much like halloumi and, and other products from Cyprus. It really does speak volumes about our culture and about our history and about our identity. And um, it uh, is definitely beyond just you know supporting the the industry itself via exports. Um, it, it also gives a um, a glimpse into what Cyprus is about. Uh, so it's important both from a cultural, both from a trade, uh, but an overall country image perspective. So, you know. I, I think uh, what I enjoyed more about Susan's speech this evening is the fact that she's, of course, non Greek, she's an American, and she took the time to go to Cyprus and discover. The, um, the, well, well, the, the, the Cypriot wine. The Cyprus Trade Center uh, always looks for uh, good publications and journalists to send. We, we send journalists to Cyprus to cover. And uh, we, we came across uh, Susan a few years ago and we invited her to visit Cyprus and give a tour. And she wrote a fantastic article. And based on that one trip and that the beginning of that relationship, she's continued to support us. And, and as you saw from this evening, she's a, a fantastic ambassador uh, for our wines and, and for Cyprus as a, uh, as a, as a destination for, for wine tourism and tourism in general. Um, and these are the kinds of relationships we like to build, you know, because they, they last for a long time and multiply. Because what else would you like to share with us? Well, you know, again, uh, a fantastic event and, and, you know, we hope that we can replicate more and more of these kinds of events um, as, as we go in the future. Um, definitely the euro dollar exchange is helping us. Cyprus wines are becoming more affordable. So, you know, we, as you saw this evening, the wines that we offered for tasting are a new shipment. They literally came in last week um, and we really want to see more labels uh, Cyprus, you know, from Cyprus uh, wineries being exported here to the U.S. and distributed more broadly, and these kinds of initiatives definitely help in that in that effort. You know what I noticed uh, tonight, the, um, because a lot of our guests are Americans. Everybody loved the Xinisteri, which is the uh, uh, white uh, dry wine. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm not a wine. I'll, I'll, uh, well, I don't know much about <laughs> wine, so you help me out. Why does everybody like uh, the well, white one? I'll, I'll tell I'll tell you what it's. First of all, we should make the distinction that what, what impresses people are the indigenous grape varietals. That means the grape varietals that are Cypriot. I mean, Cyprus also produces a lot of you know international grape varietals, Cabernets and, and Chardonnays and so on and so forth. But again, those are readily available. What the, where the curiosity peaks and the surprise comes is when they try a grape varietal that they never tried before, and it has a different character, it has a different uh, you know flavor. It's representative of the terroir. It, you can taste... When you drink a Cyprus wine, as opposed to a Chardonnay from California, you're from Cyprus. You can it mirizi su Kipros, right? Right. There you go. That's that's why I think I think it really does, you know, give them a flash of the old world. You know, uh, the tr the same is true with Maratheftigo as well. When they try, you know, the Vambagada, the Maratheftigo, it also is unique. But but Xinisteri definitely has a, a good character, and it's very versatile. So they try one, it's sweet. They try another, and it's dry. And um, you know, the versatility is. Well, again, thank you so much uh, uh, for uh, hosting the event here this evening, for having us here. We all had a great time. Thank you. Thank you. A reception followed that gave the opportunity to guests to taste some of the indigenous varieties of the Cypriot wines, such as Xinisteri, a dry white wine with fruity aroma of apricot and peach, Vanvagada, a medium red body wine from the Pizzilia region with citrus aromas and the famous Cypriot dessert wine, Comandaria. 
Guests were also treated to some traditional Cypriot food and cheeses, such as halloumi, provided by the Cypriot tavern Zinon and Didan Foods in Astoria. Cyprus's new folk arts program dedicated to the wines of Cyprus was very well received by all in attendance, who truly found it exceptionally educational and enlightening. Mrs. Delis, uh, did you enjoy the show? I loved it. The documentary was really enlightening. I was not aware of how difficult the process is in Cyprus of planting the grapes. We really got a sense of the whole feeling of the earth and the history of of, crea of winemaking in Cyprus, and it really made me feel proud to be Cypriot. <laughs> I know you don't miss any of our programs uh, ever, ever, and I thank you for always coming. How did you like the uh, the wine? The wine is that I'm drinking Comanderia right now, and it is intoxicating. It's like an aphrodisiac. I love it. I actually have two wine experts next to me who are wine connoisseurs, so they'll tell you a little bit more about their impressions. Okay. What's your name? Uh, Angelo Angelis. Mr. Angelis, did you uh, like the wine? I love the wine. I, I liked all of them. And the Comanderia is terrific. It brings back memories. I used to... Uh, steal this when I was young from my father's <laughs> bottle. <laughs> he would keep a bottle he thought hidden and I, I, I really love the taste of this wine but I liked all the wines, particularly the dry ones. How did you like the documentary? Wonderful. It was terrific to see the traditional ways that the vines were planted and the grapes were made. It, it makes me feel really um, kind of connected to that heritage that my father being from Cyprus, it kind of brings it all home for me. Very nice. And what is your name, ma'am? Inara Angelis. I'm a Xeni, but being, ma <laughs> but being married into a Greek family, I've uh, appreciated Greek food and wine for many years. And what I do professionally now is I sell wine and I taste wine. And I found it very interesting to taste the Cypriot wines. I thought the presentation itself was visually beautiful as well as informative. You really got a feeling for the place. And I just couldn't wait to taste the wines afterwards which are all very lovely as is the food and being someone who understands wine now that you have tasted it uh, what do you think well I think it's just like a uh, terroir the wine goes with the food and I really think that these are very good food wines uh, the Xenisteri is nice and crisp it has nice mineral notes and it's something I would just love to have with seafood and just sip on a nice summer day <laughs> well thank you so much okay Paris the, I did enjoy the event. The documentary was very interesting, informative, and um, uh, entertaining too. Learning about uh, the whole history of Cyprian wines and the geography, and it was, it was very good. How did you like uh, the wine, the Cypriot uh, wine? The wine's very good. The um, the old original one was very interesting, very sweet. It doesn't even Are taste like the, wine. That's the Comandaria. The Comandaria. It didn't even taste like wine. In a little shot glass. I really like the white one. Uh, the white one's very good. I like that more than some of the reds, personally. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for helping host this. A program with biographical information was also distributed for free to all in attendance. This latest folk arts program by Cypreco, which was offered with free admission as a public service, was part of the organization's mission of promoting different aspects of the folklore, history and traditions of Cyprus to wide audiences. The event was under the auspices of the Cyprus Trade Center and the Consulate General of uh, Cyprus in New York, and it was made possible in part by Arch Capital Group US, the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs and Astoria Bank, Didmer's branch. Media sponsors, Actina FM and Actina TV. Cypreco continues its 2015 activities and on November 6 is collaborating with Actina for the presentation of Greek Music Journey featuring the renowned Greek star Lavrendis Macheritsis and his orchestra at the K Playhouse at Hunter College. For tickets, please call 718-545-1151. That's 718-545-1151. For more information about Cypreco and its upcoming activities, please visit cyprecoofamerica.com. <laughs>